Hey guys, welcome back or welcome. If you clicked on this video, you are thinking about starting your fitness journey or you probably already started your fitness journey, but you struggle with being consistent. You struggle with staying on track. And if that is the case, I want you to know I completely understand because that was literally me five years ago. I started my fitness journey, but then I lost the motivation that I had in the beginning and I stopped, but I was able to get myself back on track and not just get myself back on track, but I stayed on track now we're here so in this video i'm going to be giving you my top tips to starting and staying consistent on your fitness journey so make sure you watch to the end of the video because i'm going to give you my number one tip are you a lazy piece of shit and don't know how to build discipline and stay productive this is what helped me to build discipline for example going to the gym going to the gym is hard but being ugly is also hard just choose your heart working is hard running a business is hard but being broke is also hard. What type of heart do you want to have? Sexy and rich and fit type of heart or broke, dusty and ugly type of heart? Because either way, it's gonna be hard. Today was one of those days where you didn't really feel like waking up, you didn't really feel like getting out of bed, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So I'm gonna take my pre-workout. Of course, I'm using this Big Shot from Prozies and I'm gonna mix it with Creatine to get myself going. I don't really like this flavor that well, so I always mix it with creatine to kind of give it a bit more neutral flavor. I'm also gonna take some of my omega-3 tablets, fish oil, better function of the heart. Guys, there is two more months left of 2023, and before you know it, we're gonna enter a new year. Okay, a lot of you have been making those new year fitness resolutions since 2020, since COVID. You've been saying you're gonna start your fitness journey for a long time. You've been putting it on hold. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. And you haven't done anything about it. So I want you to stop talking about what you're gonna do and we're gonna actually do it. And we're gonna go to the gym. So I used to be the most inconsistent person ever. One day I would skip the gym and that one day would turn into a week. And before you know it, I stopped going to the gym for six months. So my first tip to starting your fitness journey is not to overcomplicate your goals. Don't overcomplicate the goals and the routine in the beginning. I want a big butt, small waist, a six pack, big chest, small cup of fries, a large soda. Guys, this is not a drive through window at a fast food restaurant. I want you to start small. And a lot of us in the starting stages of anything spend way too much time trying to plan the perfect routine. No such thing exists. You're gonna learn so much as well as unlearn a lot as you go along. That is why it's called a journey. When you overcomplicate what actually goes into your workout journey, you're gonna completely overwhelm yourself and you wouldn't even know where to begin and then you're going to postpone it. So you're gonna get discouraged and you're eventually going to fall off. So do not overcomplicate your goals. It's easier to work out when you know exactly what workouts to do, how many sets, how many reps to do. Oftentimes when I talk to a majority of people, they always say they don't go to the gym or even work out because they don't know what to do. Having a program helps you cut out a lot of the bullshit in the very beginning so that you're not just going to the gym doing random things. If you guys are interested in starting to weight lift and go to the gym, or even if you train at home, I do have a four week workout guide that has all the exercises as well as explanations of the exercises and nutrition plans, perfect for beginners on my fitness app. I will leave the link in my description if you guys wanna check it out. Also, I do recommend that you buy a workout program from a personal trainer that you trust and that you believe in. I was fortunate enough to have someone who coached me from day one, so I didn't make too many mistakes. I got straight into the fundamentals immediately, but I also did buy workout programs from a few trainers that I loved because my goals changed over time and I needed to learn how to train for those goals. So also, I need to emphasize the fact that when you're first starting out, it's not so much about what you do in the gym or wherever you train, but it's a lot more about just starting. So when you're a beginner, don't try to think about, oh, I need the perfect workout plan. Like I said, you don't because as a beginner, you are at a huge advantage because your body responds quickly to that new change, which is exercise. So as a beginner, you are in the best position to make gains or lose fat or to lose weight or whatever your fitness goal is because your body isn't used to that kind of activity yet. And so introducing this into your lifestyle puts you in a great position for you to be able to reach those goals that you're trying to achieve so you right now as a beginner are in the best position so don't fuss too much about being on the best program or being on the best plan or being on the best whatever 
you do not need that at this stage it is more so just about starting and then finding the right direction so with whatever program you do buy you should further create a weekly realistic workout schedule for yourself so you can either write it down in your planner or your journal I used to do this a lot in the very beginning. I wrote down all the workouts that I was going to do in the gym that day. Even while I was in the gym and training, I would still go back and write down how many reps I did, how, many, how much weight I lifted, how many sets I did. And this really helps me monitor my progress and stay on track. So for you, you can write something like, okay, I'm gonna work out X amount of days a week. And the days that you train should of course depend on your work or school schedule or just your daily schedule if you're a really busy person. So it has to be realistic to your current schedule because otherwise you're going to skip a lot more than you should. For me, I work out four to five times a week week now and I schedule those days out depending on what workout I'm gonna do that day so you can check out my week of workouts video when you schedule it out this way and you know exactly what you're going to do each day you're gonna be less likely to skip that workout also I want you guys to be genuinely honest with yourself the days you feel like skipping your workout ask yourself do I genuinely want to skip this workout because I need it for my physical and my mental health or do I just not feel like it so the whole point of a fitness journey is to make you physically strong, but also mentally resilient. So if I only worked out on the days where I really felt like it, I will probably only hit the gym 10 times a year. So having a plan can also include getting a personal trainer. Getting a personal trainer will really help you a lot. Just having someone coach you on a set program or having an online personal trainer because they can instruct you and put you in a great position for you to be able to get the best results in a much shorter time frame than it would happen if you were just doing it alone and figuring it out yourself, especially if you have no idea what to do. Try to have a solid pre-workout routine if you are a morning person like me who prefers to train in the morning or if you have busier evenings just try and make it a habit to wake up a bit earlier for a lot of people not having time or being busy is a problem which is understandable because we all do have lives and responsibilities but try to find a morning routine that just gets you going instead of staying in bed and scrolling through social media for an extra hour or two for me, I like to take my pre-workout as soon as I get up because once I've taken that shot of energy, I am not going back to bed. I have 20 minutes to get ready and get to the gym. So when it comes to starting your fitness journey, I know that a lot of people struggle with nutrition and so did I in the very beginning. So my tip would be to eat more of the foods that you actually like, but healthier alternatives. So in the beginning, I would be so guilty about snacking on something that I shouldn't have. I used to try to be very strict to the point where it wasn't really enjoyable and I was eating things that I thought I was supposed to, but I didn't like. And this would just result in a cycle of me restricting food and then binging the food. And then it was just a mess. So if I can give you one tip, it's to take your time and make the changes small. So you don't need to say, oh, I'm never going to eat pasta again or I'm never going to eat pizza again. You don't need to be that extra. So just make subtle changes slowly. And then over time, you're going to notice the difference. So you can start small and slowly restrict on some things like sugar and like super fatty foods that are not going to be helpful for you. So you can also do things like learning how to cook a healthy dish or two that you actually enjoy. Or if there is a food that you love to eat and you love to order it out, learn how to prepare it and cook it at home and learn some healthier alternatives. If you're confident, you're more likely to show up. I strongly believe in investing in your confidence. When you look good and you know that you look good, you're going to feel good as well. So you have to prepare what you're wearing, get the right kind of training shoes, the right kind of clothing, as this does make a difference to your training. I know how much more confident I felt in the start anytime I had brand new active wear and I couldn't afford the expensive ones in the beginning so I'm not saying that you have to go all out buying Lululemons and Gymsharks. I used to buy my clothes from thrifts and upgrade it to AliExpress at some point until I was able to get sponsorships and I was still able to get some really cute affordable sets in the beginning that made me a lot more confident and it did make a difference for me so do get a nice fit even if it's just one pair that you can afford at the time that is going to help you and basically make you feel good starting with machines in the gym can be beneficial if you're new to working out one it's safer as machines do provide more stability and controlled movements which can reduce the risk of injury if you're not familiar with proper form and technique when using free weights 
Also, machines do help you isolate and target specific muscle groups, and they are generally easier to use because they have clear instructions and predefined movement patterns, which makes it less intimidating if you're new in the gym. And eventually, you'll be able to incorporate free weights for a more balanced and comprehensive workout routine. So I do recommend if you're just starting out your workout journey, start off with just using machines and then work your way gradually to using free weights. Before you start on your fitness journey, I want you to define your why. So I want you to write down three fitness goals or even one fitness goal that you have and why you want to start training. And you can leave this down below in my comments. For me, I was struggling mentally and I was also struggling with my transition from graduating from uni and actually being out of school. And when I was in school, it gave me a routine. So I knew what days I had classes, what days I had off and I woke up for those classes. But when that was over, it was like, what now for me? So. I still train today because I love it. I love being in a gym and I love having a routine. So I want you to have a solid why. Wanting to live a healthier lifestyle because you want to improve your health or your mental health is a solid why. When you have this written down, you're able to go back to it and remember your why on the hard days because when you're on a wellness journey, there will be so many hard days and you're not always going to want to wake up early or eat healthy. So you really need to take the time to figure out what your why is and it has to be strong enough to get you through those hard days this why will help you stay disciplined throughout everything and motivation comes and goes guys it comes and goes so discipline is what is going to keep you going and also you have to switch your mindset because our minds control every aspect of our lives your mind is going to quit before your body does so it's important that you switch your mindset from i can't believe i have to do this to okay i get to do this i can do this this was all that it took for me in the beginning to get back into the gym after i stopped and i stayed consistent when i gave up so i want you to tell yourself that regardless of what the situation is you will show up in any little way that you can because showing up looks different on different days but you still did the work so you can start with one workout a week and then two until you find a sustainable routine You can also create a reward system for yourself where you can treat yourself out to your favorite meal after 21 days of working out or you can buy yourself that outfit that you always wanted after like 90 days but just make it a habit to reward yourself for your accomplishments and also you deserve those rewards i'm coming yay thank nice you nice look what came in the mail guys i'm excited says do you remember your first subscriber your hundredth or your one thousandth chances are you do and we know that you'll definitely remember your hundred thousandth subscriber we're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching a hundred thousand subscribers with the silver creator award congratulations i know that's right okay let's set this down look at her guys look at her oh she is pretty she's beautiful it's so crazy that i'm getting this hundred thousand hundred thousandth creator award when i've hit 400k isn't that crazy guys like the growth on this channel has been incredible <sighs> i like to thank my mom and dad i like to thank you guys for subscribing and supporting this journey i am officially a youtuber if you told me five months ago three months ago hell if you told me three months ago that right now i would have first of all i would have this award but I would have 400,000 YouTube subscribers. We would have had a fight because I would not have believed you. So you have to excuse the bad lighting. You wouldn't understand how much this award means to me. It's not even about the numbers, it's not about the milestone. 400,000 subscribers to me six months ago was like an impossible. I was like, there's, there's no way. There's no way. I had 20,000 subscribers last month. 20,000 subscribers last month. In a month, I've accumulated over 300,000 subscribers. That is crazy. It was just as a result of just being consistent. First of all, just believing that I could even do it. Just the story. I started this channel in 2018, the same year I started my Instagram. And I found just posting on Instagram a lot easier just because of how it was. It was just photos and like short form content. But YouTube was like, it just required a lot more time, dedication, and I was consistent for like the first year and I was putting all of this effort into like making videos and I wasn't really growing. And I would put out videos and it would just 
get like 200, 300. If I was lucky, sometimes 500 views and it will stay on 500 views for like two months. And it was really, really annoying because I was putting in all of this work. I just was like, maybe YouTube just isn't for me. I left YouTube, I stopped being consistent. I hit 1.1 million, 1 .1 million followers on Instagram about four months ago. And last month I was like, if I can do this on Instagram, I can absolutely do this on YouTube. Like I have no excuse. And I really didn't have any excuses. I had all of this content just sitting in my phone and I knew it was gonna take a lot of dedication. I was gonna do it. I was gonna be consistent. I was gonna stay dedicated. I was gonna do it regardless of what was happening. I just made a mental switch. I was like, me and you, YouTube, not me and you. It was do or die. I'm gonna conquer this YouTube thing, this YouTube giant that I was so afraid of that I felt wasn't for me. I go do them. Um. That's exactly what I did. I sat down, I made a content strategy. Now I have a YouTube plaque for 100,000 subscribers and I have 400,000 subscribers as I'm talking to you guys right now. So if this is not motivation enough for you, I don't know what else is. Honestly, we are so capable of doing things if only we just put our minds to it. So this video is for someone out there who, if you're watching this video and you're planning on starting something or if you've been holding out starting something, that is literally the premise of this video. Whatever it is that you wanna start, it could be your fitness journey, it could be a YouTube channel, it could be that business, it could be whatever. Just start and be consistent. There's power in consistency. And that's honestly how you have to approach your goals in life. You have to approach your goals like you guys have a personal beef. Like your goals owe you something. It doesn't cost you anything to dream big. Dreaming big is free. So this is one plaque down. We got two more to go. Got two more to go. That is my little uh, motivational chit chat for today. And the more consistent that you are, you'll find that your after photo is really not that far away. So you got this and I believe in you.